Hi there, my name is Anthony Samroff and I am a relationship coach and a communication trainer for men and women all over the world. And today I want to share with you a pro tip which is really good for speaking to people who are nervous or a bit worried or in a bit of a heightened state of tension. So this is really great if you're out somewhere and you start speaking to a stranger or a friend of a friend and you can tell that maybe they're a bit socially awkward around new people people if you've been brushing up your conversational skills something that you can add to that is when you notice that someone is just a bit nervous around you and um, not maybe because you're strange or out of the ordinary but just because they've not met you before one thing you can do is regulate and slow down your breathing while you're talking so you'll just gently breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth while they're speaking. Yeah, you don't have to obviously do that loudly or draw any attention to it at all. You'll just, while you're listening to them and asking questions, slow down your breathing. while you look them in the eye and listen to them talking. That'll give them a sense that you're not tense and you feel good and very unconsciously, they'll start to sync up with you and their breathing will slow down and they will enjoy spending time with you that little bit more because you both feel so relaxed talking to one another. Now this is great in all sorts of circumstances. You can use it in a job interview. This is also especially great when dealing with children, especially if they're getting a bit wild and off the rails and you want to calm them down because you see children learn to regulate themselves by mirroring the self-regulation of the people around them who are taking care of them, which is why, you know, it's, it's never right to say hit a child when they're going wild or shout at a child to get them to calm down or to stop playing so wild because it's actually sending them a mixed message. I've even practiced this technique while someone very close to me was having a panic attack. I didn't react to the fact that they were having a panic attack or tell them to calm down or anything. I certainly didn't get wound up myself because I knew that wouldn't help. I just took their hand and held them and regulated my breathing. I slowed my breathing down and I reassured them that they could just let it go through them and in their own time panic attack would stop and right enough they got through their panic attack slowly. So this is a really easy thing to do in all sorts of circumstances and I hope it helps you to build deeper connections with the people around you. Okay, so if you have a question that you would like me to address in one of my videos or you would like to book a phone coaching session with me on Skype, you can email me at enrichyourlife at outlook.com and I'll see you next time.